about anger. And for me, there are two types of anger. There is a healthy anger, which is an expression of when somebody has crossed your boundaries and you're saying that is unacceptable. That kind of anger is momentary and it's short-lived and then you express what you feel, you let go of it, done. The second type of anger is an unhealthy anger. It's the one that we hold on to, that we haven't quite let go of, you know, the how dare they kind of anger. And it sits inside us and it festers away. It's often represented by the color red. Um, it's a very inflamed uh, response and therefore that inflammation is also held within the body and can manifest in conditions to do with the bowel, very much emotional conditions held within the bowel. It sits within the liver, so it's held in the body within the liver, but also manifests in the joints as well, causing inflammation within the joints in the body, leading to arthritis and similar conditions like that. Also insomnia and other painful conditions within the body. So we really don't want to keep hold of it. We want to let go of that anger. And there will be situations that come into your life that trigger you again and again and again if you keep hold of that anger. So the question is, why do we keep hold of that anger? Well, very often my clients say, well, I don't want them to get away with it. They did this to me, they did that to me. And if I forgive them, then they've got away with it. And you know that really isn't the case because forgive... Forgiving them is actually what sets you free. It doesn't set them free. They'll have to deal with their course of action. They have to take responsibility for what they've done uh, at some level. So what's more important is that you are able to free yourself by forgiving that person from a situation. And that's what forgiveness is all about. It's not saying, yeah, you did that to me and it was wrong, but you know, I forgive you. Uh, and therefore you can go and do that again to somebody else. It's saying, I want to be free of that situation. I don't necessarily agree with what you've done. I don't approve of what you've done. Um, you crossed the line too many times, but I'm not gonna let you have any more power over me. I'm gonna release myself from that anger. And that means I'm gonna free myself up and become empowered and I'm gonna choose to let that situation stay in the past where it belongs and I'm going to move forward with my life and I'm going to free myself by forgiving you. That is not to condone what they have done, that is to free yourself up and empower yourself so you stop being a victim. You know, life is full of victims and life is full of situations that put us into that victim state but we don't need to stay in that victim state. And this is where the self-empowerment comes in. Because we can choose to stay a victim for the rest of our lives for what's been done to us. Or we can choose to say, I'm gonna free myself from the past. I'm gonna free myself from what that person or that situation did to me. And I'm gonna to choose to become empowered. And so I'm gonna let go of that situation by forgiving, accepting that what happened happened. I can't turn back the clock, but I can choose how I think about that situation in a different way. And that doesn't condone what they've done as being right or wrong. It just is about freeing myself from that situation so that I'm able to get on with my life and not let them or that situation have power over me anymore. Then of course there's holding on to the anger as a kind of badge. It's saying to the world, look what they did to me. Look what that person did to me. Look, can't you see? Can't everybody see what they did to me? And again, that's staying in that victim state. And it's very much about the last bit I just spoke about, about making a choice. Do you stay as a victim in order to show the world what's been done to you? Or do you make that empowered choice to say, I'm gonna forgive that situation I'm gonna forgive that person and I'm gonna move on with my life because I'm empowered and I choose to do so. Remembering that that person will always have to answer at some level what they've done. They'll always have to uh, work through what they've done at some level, certainly on a spiritual 
uh, side. Because anyone that causes suffering to another is in a greater place of suffering themselves. And that's important for you to remember when you're in any kind of victim situation. Anyone that is putting you into a situation where they are uh, crossing over the line in what, whatever way, whether it's abuse or, or uh, overpowering, over controlling you, over manipulating you, then um, they are coming from a greater place of suffering. So always remember that. So no matter how you feel about that situation, you don't have to stay a victim. You can move forward, you can move on. Um, and forgiving them isn't about letting them get away with it, it's about freeing yourself. Now the other thing, the other reason why we hold on to anger uh, is often injustice. You know, you've been treated unfairly. And I find that with clients that are holding on to anger sometimes and the anger isn't clearing, it's because there is an injustice running. So always check the beliefs to see subconsciously if you are running any kind of injustice if the anger just isn't clearing. You can do that through self-muscle testing. And there is another video on my YouTube channel that shows you how to muscle test standing up very, very simply. Um, so you can check... Uh, the belief running maybe life is unfair is running you know in the programming in your subconscious mind you know I'm treated unfairly um, so um, just check to see if that program is running so if you feel there is an injustice there then you can use lots of different methods to clear that injustice and that will free up the anger to be released come up to the surface uh, so you can be free of it completely the other thing to check with uh, self-anger as well, if you are feeling angry, is whether uh, there is a subconscious belief or programming that you are learning from holding on to that anger or that it's serving you in some way. Now, the learning can be about, you know, I'm learning to uh, uh, forgive somebody or I'm learning to uh, be safe. I'm learning about my own boundaries, for example. So again, you can use that self muscle testing to see whether that is running, whether that program, I'm holding on to the anger because I'm learning about it. Test to see if you get a positive for that. And if you get a positive, then you ask yourself, what is it I'm learning from holding on to this anger? And once you've got it, quite often, you know, it just releases automatically and you feel a deep sense of relief. And that's another layer that's released from you. The other reason why we might uh, find that anger is serving us is because perhaps we're learning about safety. So we're keeping hold of the anger in order to teach us about our boundaries again. So, you know, I'm keeping hold of the anger because it keeps me safe, it keeps me protected. So it's worth just, again, using the muscle test and to see if that's also running. So how do we also deal with people who are angry at us? And that's a really, really tricky one uh, to deal with because, you know, there are extremely abusive situations in some households um, and there's no easy answer with that because you have to judge every situation differently. And uh, obviously telling people to calm down doesn't always work. It does sometimes, but it doesn't always work and it's not something that is advised. You know, if people are constantly being angry at you or they're, they're, they're angry and um, they're coming at you and they're shouting at you, they need to be heard in some way. So there may be a situation from their past where they hadn't been heard before. So they need to have that kind of recognition of what they're saying. So one of the ways it's worth using when someone is angry and they're directing it at you is to say, I hear what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Let's talk about it calmly and see if we can find out if we can overcome this. Let's sit down and talk about it. I acknowledge what you're saying. So try that and see if that actually works because it's about acknowledging they're shouting there's something going on within them there's something that's triggering within them they're projecting it out at you so there may be something that that they feel they're not being heard about that that is repeating from their past 
And obviously every situation is difficult and it can be a little bit more complex than that, depending on the people that you're dealing with. There could be other things, could be alcohol involved, drugs involved, all sorts of other situations. So that's a very, very simple way of saying if somebody's angry at you, you say, I acknowledge what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Let's talk about it. It's very, it's at its most simple. So how do we clear that anger that is within us? Well, there's lots of different tools of doing it, but one of the videos I posted this week in line with this video is how to use Ho'oponopono to clear anger effectively, to clear those buried emotions effectively. So check that one out. And that is a brilliant tool for clearing that buried anger and bringing all of those buried feelings up to the surface, all that pain and hurt to be released.